Hi, this is user HD7100 in Little Prairie, Southeast Wisconsin. Today is June 28, Sunday. Very nice day, and we had the Elkhorn, Wisconsin monthly flea market, which I think is the best antique flea market uh, in the whole area. At least I find it so. Now, I spent about four hours walking around there, and normally I never walk out with anything. But today I came home with what you see before you. This is a very interesting uh, invention of the Lectophone Corporation. It's manufactured by the Brands Corporation for the Colster Radio Company. This is an electrodynamic speaker. Now, of course, I, it, it's for a console, and I, of course, don't have any particular use for it, but this was such a beautifully made and interesting piece, I just I, I, I couldn't leave it behind. Besides, it was only 20 bucks, and I couldn't pass that up. But if I get a little bit of a closer view here, I will show you the nameplate. And if I can get into a distance where I don't lose my focus, that's the Colster nameplate. And then if we rotate this thing, you will see that it actually still has the uh, Colster uh, label on it, all intact. And then, of course, here's this interesting plug that uh, plugs into the amplifier. Uh, we'll rotate it around a little bit more. You'll see that it's had a repair done at one time in its uh, life. This little patch down here, um, actually it's quite well repaired. The rest of the cone is in very, very good condition. Um, this thing is very heavy. There's a handle on the top for carrying it. And if you look at it this way, that uh, casing that the uh, field coil is in, it actually looks like, <laughs> like it's an electric fan. Uh, in fact, my friend that was with me was kind of wondering if it wasn't a motor. But I knew what it was as soon as I saw it. I was going to pass it up, but instead I decided to bring this uh, home uh, to, to have something else that can collect dust amongst all my interesting things. I'll probably share some other videos of uh, the weird and strange things that HD7100 Gary K here collects. But I just thought this was just too nice of a speaker to, to pass up. Here you see this retaining ring, this screw and this ring goes all the way around. That's what actually clamps the uh, leather suspension in. It looks like it might have had some work done on it uh, in its lifetime other than that patch in the front. I can't really tell. I have no way of knowing if it's any good. I haven't even put an ohmmeter on the coils. It's a, a, a traditional four wire connection. Um, two are for the field and two are for the voice coil. Uh, anyways, that's this is my flea market acquisition of the day. I hope uh, someone enjoys seeing this.